Today I'm going to show you this A6500 rig that I've been using over the last 12 months or so for event filmmaking. This camera is great for run and gun shooting but also a good workhorse choice for YouTube videos. Now the main drawback of this camera is the battery life. You don't want to be constantly swapping out batteries every 40 minutes or so. With this setup you can shoot all day long and not worry about it. So the first port of call is the cage and I went for this one by Small Rig. Now there's a ton of choices online but I'll make sure to put the link to this one in the description below. Just remember, you get what you pay for and it's always good to invest a little bit of money into protecting your camera. Not only does the cage give you added protection, but it also gives you all the mounting points and all the screw fixings that you need to make the modifications to your camera rig. The cage I've gone for still gives me easy access to all the buttons, so make sure that if you're getting a different cage, it does the same. Now my lens of choice is the 35mm, and on this crop sensor it will roughly be 50mm. Now being a prime lens, it's super sharp and the 1.8 f-stop is great in low light too. Now if you've seen my previous video on my top 10 filming accessories, you'll know that I use these things all the time. In this instance, I'm taking the clamp mechanism and screwing it onto the cage with a double thread adapter. All I need to do now is add the power bank battery and I went with the Anker PowerCore 5000 portable charger. It has 5000 milliamps of power, more than enough to last you the whole day. If this power bank runs out of juice, you can easily swap it out with any size power bank you want. So that's the battery life sorted on the rig. Now the next thing to do is sort out the audio. First rule of thumb, always try to avoid the built-in internal microphone on your camera. Grabbing yourself an external microphone immediately improves your audio quality tenfold. I've been using the Rode VideoMic Pro for years and it's served me well. If I was looking to grab one today though, I'd highly recommend grabbing the updated Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It will give you the best audio to get you started. I've mounted my mic to the side thanks to the cage. And that is pretty much it. It gives you a good foundation to work from to add maybe a hand grip or even an external monitor like the small HD focus onto the top. Now I'd love to hear about some of the camera modifications you guys have made so please give me a shout in the comments below. 